market is responding the way it is right now to the Federal Reserve's action, I think mm -hmm. the market understands that the Fed, with its hundreds of economists, has really started to think about the numbers that are coming in and is really sure they're going to be terrible, which is why they did this extraordinary action. Potentially one of the worst jobs numbers we've ever seen. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone bracing for that. Okay, Kevin, help me understand what we can do. So, so there's little ammunition left for the Fed, right? here, they've already cut down to zero. Uh, they've already instituted essentially QE once again with, with buying up these mortgage-backed securities and, and bonds. Should they start, the federal government start guaranteeing credit lines, start buying up corporate debt? I'm really concerned about corporate debt, what this means. Should they start buying up ETF stocks? What do you think? Right. Well, I think that what has to happen is that we need a fiscal policy response now. I think that you know, the House is right to help people that are separated from work, but we really do need something like what the president's talking about, a payroll tax uh, holiday for about a month. And the way to think about it is that, you know, businesses are going to have to pay wages for people, even though there aren't a lot of sales because everybody's staying home. And so if you have a payroll tax holiday, then basically what you're doing is giving, you know, a big chunk of payroll both to uh, workers and to firms to help them see through like a three or four months. Bye that are going to be super negative. And so, so I think that if, if Congress doesn't understand that we're looking at maybe one of the worst jobs numbers we've ever seen, and we're looking at a, uh, a negative GDP number in the second quarter that's really large, you know, if they don't understand that, then they can not do a stimulus for sure. But, but they need to understand that, and they need to give a big stimulus right now. And if they have a better idea than a payroll tax holiday, then they should, they should pass that. But if they don't take yeah. a big action, then that yeah. minus 5% will spread it into the third quarter and you're going to look at a recession. I, I hear you on the payroll tax cut, but I, I just think it's very lim the limitations of it are it certainly doesn't help unemployed Americans. It doesn't really help the hour hourly lowest income workers. You, you just add to the debt and the deficit, which I know we have to keep things in perspective here this morning, but even the Conservative mm -hmm. Heritage Foundation said that it's just not the right move. Is it really enough or do you need it something TARP-like? Right. Well, well, I think that this is, you know, the president's proposed keeping it on uh, through the end of the year. Uh, I think that you definitely need it in the second quarter because it's something that you could turn on right away. And it could, you know, have that minus 5% could be maybe even a zero or a slight positive number if you have a big payroll tax holiday. But if you don't act now, then what's going to happen is you're going to get that really bad number and then you're going to start to see business defaults and the like. And it yeah. could really start to spin out of control. Okay, uh, sobering, sobering message from someone who knows this stuff as well as anyone. Kevin Hassett, I really appreciate your time Thanks, this Bobby. morning. Thanks very, very yep. much. All right, so